Uh, but uh, right from day one, I've had great players uh, that have chosen to come and get their education and play ball at Stony Brook, and, and we've had a lot of success over those years. And uh, and this is uh, you know this is just a you know accumulation of uh, the success we've had. So far, so good. You're up two nothing. We'll let you get back to work. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much. Well, they've come a long way, Doug Glanville. Uh, Matt Sank in his 22nd year. In fact, the, the job as Stony Brook baseball coach wasn't even a full-time job when he started with this program in 1991. And here they are up at Division I and leading at LSU in Game 1 of this Baton Rouge Super Regional. Oh, yeah. He, we asked him about how did he have this vision going from a Division Three school, working his way up. But he said, look, he saw a lot of success in the Northeast in Division Three, thought he could take it to the next level. And he went beyond that. I mean, now look at them. They're, they're fighting the door to the College World Series. Jordy Snickers, the LSU DH, is up here to lead off the fifth inning for the Tigers. I mean, Matt Sank, when he first started here, he had to teach phys ed, run baseball camps, work within the athletic department just to pay the bills. Now, they do have one notable baseball alumni, and, and that, of course, is Joe Nathan, the Rangers closer, who's been very active in the program and not too long ago donated a half million dollars, and now they play a appropriately Joe Nathan Field at Stony Brook. Uh, well, yeah, definitely staying involved, Joe Nathan, and look, and now he's, he's a, the poster of, of what Stony Brook baseball can accomplish, and, and Joe Nathan accomplished that before they were even Division One. so, uh, you know, tremendous success story. Stony Brook, Brandon baby. Brandon has a 2 nothing lead here in the fifth. Snickers, so proud of my boys. Fair, Willie with a nice Look play. at Stony Brook. These dudes are awesome. Big Willie style here, well, Big Willie, I'll tell you what, he can, he can Two of our players are going to the major leagues, man. One's going to Texas Rangers. The other one's going to uh, the San Diego Padres. So you know he can throw. So once he, once he the ball, Oh, man, I'm proud of them. They're playing Saturday and Sunday at Stony Brook. I'm going out to see him, man. I'm going to go visit my campus, man. Look at that. I'm going to get a jersey, too. Fuck that. All right, anyway. This is a best of three here. The winner of the series will go to Omaha. And playing the College World Series as Edward follows one off his foot there. Stony Brook, we, we've talked about their hitting already. They're second in the nation in hitting 336. Duck. They also catch the ball, the ball very well. Sixth in the nation in fielding percentage. They hit, they field, they throw. What don't they do? It's unbelievable. Nothing. Really. They're very balanced. And, and when I asked Coach about it uh, yesterday, he said, "Well, thanks for asking and noticing it because they do field well. They hit. Uh, their pitch are efficient, and obviously they don't strike out. And that's something that Coach Maneri pointed out very clearly. They do not strike out." All right, let's take a look at the middle infield here. This is Cole Perigene, their freshman shortstop, and Max Tissenbaum, their junior second baseman. And these two guys work very well together and have so far today. Well, absolutely. And, you know, the, the quick turn, the, the least... Look at how good Stony Brook is, man. Ball, Unbelievable. The force. Yeah, they are. No time to get it over to the first sea base. Wolves. All right, Edward has uh, worked out his issue. State really University of New York at Stony Brook. Remember that name. And continue the attack behind all one. Oh, yeah, I found the ball off Derek Lowe like 12 years ago. My leg still messed up. So he'd love to face those sinker uh, ball guys, huh? It's nasty. And never, never a fun day with guys who sink the ball. And Edward's had a tough time. You know, the hamstring injuries, he's battled his way back. Playing in uh, Louisiana right yeah, now. A little bit of a revolving outfielder uh, situation with all the injuries they've had out there. Yeah, has twice been out this season with hamstring issues. Uh, Edward. 24 games, 19 starts. Pop up second base. Tissenbaum is under it, and there is. Max Tissenbaum, and there are two away. Yeah, Stony Brook, Doug. Uh, wait, 12 players in this game right now were drafted this week by Major League teams. Prior to this week, talking about the Seagulls program, they had never had a player drafted higher than third. And now they've got seven guys who were drafted. I mean, this is not a team that's just sort of luck their way into this position. I mean, you win 50 games at this level, you, you knock off Miami, you're doing something right, and LSU knows that they have to take them very seriously. Tyler Hanover, the third baseman, first pitch winning. Tissenbaum is under it again, calling everyone off. And, oh, Tanner Nibbins will come in there from right field and make the catch. And it's the second 1-2-3 inning of the game so far for sophomore right-hander Brandon McNitt. We're through five. Stony Brook leads LSU 2-0.